Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy, Jenny Tap. Jenny Tap. Jenny Tap. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny Tap. <laughs> so basically, the sports world is coming to her defense and basically basically um So, Jenny Tav, if you forget, if you forgot what happened, <laughs> let's see if this is it. Stream 85. Trying to see if this is it so you guys can hear it. Well, I don't think here it is. Sorry, but criticizing his appearance, I don't know if I've done this fair shot for Mike McCarthy. I'm gonna leave it at that. Also sorry, but criticizing his appearance, I don't know if I've done this fair shot for Mike McCarthy. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, Chris Richard. Thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate that. I don't think it is a fair shot. Yeah, well, I don't think that's a fair shot. Is everyone who is a good coach yeah. as fit as you skip? Mm. I don't think that's a fair shot uh, whatsoever. I wouldn't want I said it was a personal preference. I'm actually not going to be my head coach. So what you just saw there was Skip Bayless and So basically um that basically was it. Skip Bayless and everything was shaming Mike McCarthy's coaching because of his physique. Felt like he needs to be more um has more of a better physique to be um to be I guess a great coach or something. <laughs> I guess he's questioning like his personal preference. He wouldn't um he basically said he wouldn't want to listen to this coach or follow him because of um the way he looks, um his weight. <laughs> okay, I mean and Jenny Tapp just basically says, Skip, he was everybody's not as fit as you. And Skip was saying, just said a little slick shot. Well, gee, um, Jenny, good looking or something like that. Um, and Shannon was over there, you know, just was was trying to be the peacemaker and everything because, you know, Skip Bayless. Everybody hates Skip because Skip tells the truth about. LeBron. LeBron is very mentally weak. He's always getting a pass by blind witnesses. He's always being said he's this innocent guy. He's innocent. No, nothing, nothing can happen to him. But if any other player was ever talked about, like a Kevin Durant, Kyrie, or anybody, they would get blasted. <laughs> Shannon Sharp blasts those guys. So you basically got an even kill show. Jenny is basically the moderator who, you know, she just, it probably was brewing. Something happened off the air. Skip probably said something slick. And then, you know, and Jenny was just saying about her college coaches or other coaches that, hey, they, they weren't, they weren't real. Excuse me. They weren't, um, you know, They 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 weren't um how do I say it? They weren't real um fit. 
but they could coach. To me, does it matter if you're fit? Like, as far as your physique? Um, Greg Popovich doesn't have a great phys physique. Um, Steve Kerr doesn't have a great physique. <laughs> I mean, why is it that is Mike McCarthy? Um, Skip Bayless is a diehard Dallas Cowboys fan. Um, and I understand because my dad, he was, he was a fan, which made me a fan. And then my big brother, he's a Bucks fan, so... I rooted for them too. I I really just was chilling. I really just loved football in general. I never really cared about rooting for a team, but I used to root for Dallas and I root for my brother's Bucks team and I root for my god daddy's team cuz I was I'm real close to all three of them. And my god daddy's a Miami Dolphins fan. So people be like, "Man, why are you rocking Dolphins, Bucks and um and Cowboys?" And I said, "Well, the three men in my life, who I look up to, they are fans of those teams. So that's why people always would try to say bandwagon this and that. But the the thing is this. Um, Jenny Taff and everything saying what she said. Um, to me, I just think it was just a little argument. To me, whose side am I on? Um, Skip, that's Skip's personal preference, so I can't get upset. Now, is Skip baseless some of the times? Absolutely. But the thing is, that's his opinion. That's his personal preference. You know, it's like we all go out to eat. I wanted to get the sushi. This guy here want the calamari. He said, I don't like sushi, but that doesn't mean I don't have to eat it because this dude don't like it. <laughs> So it's it's just um it's just crazy. Hold on, this is from Black Top Buckets. Let's hear what Hi, he, let's see what he was saying. This is Black Top Buckets saying um something about this. <laughs> Go subscribe to his page, Black Top Buckets, just like it sound. Um, all one word. Thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate that. Of course they were. It's undisputed. The argument on undisputed. There was Skip Bayless and Jenny Taft having an argument on undisputed. They were talking about the Cowboys because, of course, they were. It's undisputed. They either talk about LeBron or the Cowboys every single day. Exactly. But Skip Bayless made some comments about head coach Mike McCarthy, the now new coach of the Dallas Cowboys, saying that he's not going to be a good coach for a multitude of reasons. But one of those reasons was the fact that Mike McCarthy is out of shape. Jenny Taft, the host of Undisputed, took exception to those comments and said she doesn't see how that shot was necessary or even applicable in this situation. And I have to agree with her. If Skip Bayless said something like, McCarthy has a tendency to look drained, tired, or disinterested, I would agree with that. Right. But I don't agree with the physical appearance having an impact of the coaching. Tampa Bay won last year. Does their coach have a six-pack? Does he look like Chris Hemsworth? I don't think so. Exactly. And shout out to Black Top Buckets for that. Um, and that's what I'm saying. Like, skip what he said. That's his personal preference. But in my, it, like, how I feel in my opinion, I mean, to me, your weight doesn't dictate if you can coach or not. Mike McCarthy, some of the things like Blacktop Buck has just said is he looks disinterested and sometimes looks very aloof, which he does on the sideline and, and how he is. I don't really see a lot of energy from him. I just see him just being there. I just think he's just there. You know, um you know he's there. But to me, they always talking about the Cowboys on the show. That's why nobody really likes the show like that. The people who like it are like the blind dumb fans because they like Shannon Sharp because he's entertaining. You know, he doesn't bring a lot of substance unless it's about football, but everything else, he don't really know shit about. Um, Skip knows baseball, knows basketball, knows um football, but he doesn't really know boxing or other things like that. He knows golf. So he has more range, in my opinion, than Shannon does. Shannon doesn't really know these other sports like that. Basketball, he just likes LeBron. 
that's it. Football, he knows football because he's played. He's a Hall of Famer. I respect his football amplitude um, of what he brings to the table. Now, um, Jenny, Jenny covers all sports. Um, Jenny covers college football, pro football, all of it. Jenny Tab has a lot of range. Um, to me, she's she's better than Joy Taylor was. Um, not taking nothing from Joy. Joy Taylor's more built for that Colin show. She's good on that show where she gives her insight and then she guides Colin because Colin sometimes go out the box, <laughs> but she brings him back. So, but there were reports that Joy and Skip used to get into it. That Joy and Skip got into it a lot. You know, so it, so Skip is hard to deal with. He is. Um, but do I think this is going to affect Jenny Tavs on the show. Um, if it, I don't think it's Skip show per se. Like, I don't think Skip controls the show like that. Um, they used to have that guy Jamie Ortwitz who used to run it, but he got let go because of the, you know, the um, what they call it, the sexual assault, or he was no harassment. He was harassing a lot of the women workers. So. I mean, we'll see. I don't think um, I don't think this should cost her her job. I just think it was just a little back and forth. And to me, the ratings probably went up even more. You know, because it, it had that authentic that authenticity. <laughs> I think I said it right. Authentic feel to it. <laughs> so you know. We'll see. Um, I don't. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But if it is, I mean, who who would you who who would you you know what I'm saying? And and Skip's not gonna get fired, guys. They they gave Skip a big contract. Sh Shannon has one too. So we'll see, man. I just. <laughs> I just don't believe that this is going to cost is going to cost her her job. Like people are trying to say this, this is the end of Jenny Tav. I'm like, uh, I don't see it. I don't I don't believe that it it is. But um, we'll see, man. I don't think either are going to you lose their job. <laughs> I don't think it's that serious. I think they could just talk it out and move on. You can't let Jenny go. Jenny is a great moderator. She keeps the flow of the show, and she can... And she can put her foot down to both of these guys. She has that fire. That's what you need is her. Joy would have just let it go on. So, you know. Let me know in the comment section what you think. You think Jenny Taz going to lose her job? You think Skip's going to get in trouble for this? And how, how funny <laughs> was this to Shannon? <laughs> Because <laughs> Shannon was like, we on the same team. And Skip like, no, no, no. Shannon like, yes, yes, yes. Because Shannon was laughing at it. Because Shannon was like, there you go, Skip. Get put in this place. Shannon always loved when something going towards Skip. Because I don't think Shannon likes Skip like that. I think they, they can coexist. They work together. But I don't think they like each other like that. I think Shannon gets tired of dealing with him. He gets tired of dealing with Shannon, but I think they have a mutual respect for one another. I just don't think they like each other, but I think they have a little respect for one another. So thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by cash apping me at the word welcome, the number two, and then HDII TV. Thank you all for listening and we're out. Deezy.